Gigante's claims that Tottenham Hotspur have offered Barcelona around 60 million for Frankie de Jong, who it has been leaked that his continuity at Barcelona is no longer so clear. Spurs would provide him with the same salary he enjoys in Barcelona if he fulfills certain objectives and would commit him to their project for four seasons, that is until the summer of 2028. It would be his first experience in the Premier League. A little less than a week ago, journalist Luis Canet reported on the ONS program on a sport that Frankie de Jong is no longer sure that he wants to stay at Barcelona in the long term. Now Gigante's claims that Tottenham Hotspur have made an offer of around 60 million euros for him. They would sign him on a four-season contract with, potentially, the same salary he receives in Spain as long as he fulfills certain objectives. It is striking that Ange Postecoglou's project is the first that has been leaked, when it seemed that Manchester United would make the first approach, due to his relationship with Eric Ten Hag, his compatriot. In fact the Red Devils will receive an investment of almost 280 million euros thanks to the purchase by Jim Ratcliffe, CEO of Ineos of 25% of the club's shares. They should have room to maneuver for the Dutchman. For the moment, the reaction of Joan Laporta's leadership, who would be happy to let the former Ajax player leave the club not only because of the immediate money they would receive, but also because of the money they would no longer owe the midfielder whose salary, according to the Catalan press, has been deferred for the next few seasons has not come to light. There are still 23.2 million in the 24 to 25 and 23 in the 25 to 26, a total of 46.2. Adding this figure to the hypothetical 60 for which Frankie would be transferred, Barcelona could find a breathing space of more than 100 million euros for their budget between what they would no longer have to pay and what they would be paid. The prospect from a purely financial point of view, is tempting, but Xavi Hernandez's pupil has been one of the best in the team despite the general decline of the squad. Aurelien Tuamini, speaking to the French branch of Canal Plus, acknowledged that Kylian Mbappe's possible move to Real Madrid has been talked about in the Merengue's dressing room for years. It was obvious, but it is always interesting to know the opinion of a member of Carlo Ancelotti's squad who is also a compatriot of the PSG striker, with whom he will have a special affinity. It is clear that the Real Madrid dressing room has been talking about Kylian Mbappe for years. It was in 2022 when everything looked set for him to land at the Spanish side as a free agent with a huge signing bonus, which in 2023, became a potential transfer failure and in 2024, again a window of opportunity for him to join Carlo Ancelotti's ranks after finishing his contract at Paris Saint-Germain. It is always interesting to know what is going on behind the scenes in the Merengue squad while waiting for the striker to announce his decision. Aurelien Tuamini gave his view on the French Channel Canal Plus after the win over RB Leipzig in the first leg of the Champions League round of 16. As compatriots, they are supposed to be on good terms, so the midfielder should have good sources. He has not announced anything to me personally. Besides, if he had told me, I wouldn't say it, he commented. We talk about it in the dressing room because we know it's an important issue. It has been for quite a few years. So hopefully things will be sorted out in the next few weeks, he said. Big-name journalists such as Fabrizio Romano point out that, this time the French superstar is really opting for Spain. The main obstacle seems to be that Real Madrid's offer has been considerably reduced compared to those of 2022 and 2023 and Mbappe's camp is not looking favorably on it. In this regard his mother Faiza Lamori could be playing a key role, as she receives a percentage of her son's salary to put towards his foundation, where she works, and she may be pushing for a more lucrative deal.